when women do fasted training, I often ask, well, why are you doing that? Because the first thing to go is your lean mass. And we're already trying to preserve it. And we're already having a struggle to keep it. And the hypothalamus is going to tell the body to break it down because it wants to use it for the sum of its parts. When we hit peri and postmenopause, specifically perimenopause, when we already have that elevation in cortisol, and then we start doing fasted training, it compounds that. And it also compounds the body's response to put on more visceral fat. It's counterintuitive when we're trying to decrease that visceral fat and we're trying to increase our lean mass. We see in postmenopausal women that if we do fasted training, in the short term, we see a decrease in our fat mass, but we also see a significant decrease in our lean mass. Again, it's because the hypothalamus is saying we need some fuel here and the first thing to go is lean mass. We don't see that with men. Again, because the aging trajectory for men is different than women and the responses are different. The fasted training is one of the things I really want to push back on. These women are like, my doctor says I should do fasted training for mitochondrial health and to lose weight. It's based on male data. We look at female data, different story.